वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला ऑन द सब्जेक्ट सोशल मेडिसिन एंड कम्युनिटी हेल्थ आई एम प्रोफेसर सी पी मिश्रा वर्किंग इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कम्युनिटी मेडिसिन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मेडिकल साइंसेज बनारस हिंदू यूनिवर्सिटी वाराणसी आई सेल बी डिस्कसिंग द मॉड्यूल एक्सक्रेटर डिस्पोजल विथ स्पेशल रेफरेंस टू डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ लेटरिंग्स दिस मॉड्यूल बिलोंग्स टू द पेपर इन्वायरमेंटल हेल्थ द मॉड्यूल अंडर रेफरेंस has been developed by a team comprising of myself as principal investigator dr v m gupta ex professor and head department of community medicine ims bhu varanasi has been paper coordinator the module is written by, by me along with p k s ji and the content of this module has been reviewed by dr j tandon ex professor and head department of community medicine institute of medical sciences Manas Hindu University, Varanasi. For this module, a number of learning objectives have been set. These are to list packages of rural sanitation, to enumerate priorities for rural sanitation, to list social factors re related to excreta disposal, to enumerate elements of sanitation barrier, and to enumerate essential features of sanitary latrines. Uh, to state salient features of different types of latrines and finally to explain public health importance of excreta disposal we all know that millennium developmental goals were initiated in the, around 2000 and eight goals were set among all the goals access to basic sanitation stands as the most neglected millennium developmental goal Poor sanitation costs to India around 54 billion US dollars, or 6.6 percent of GDP, into in the, according to 2006 estimates of World Bank. There are a number of losses. Losses in terms of educational attainment, in terms of productivity time, and also if the sanitation conditions are bad in any country, it affects the tourism of the country as well. Also, around 3.5 lakh under five children die of diarrhea alone every year, and according to census 2011, only 33 percent of rural households were using latrines, whereas 87.4 per urban per percent urban urban population did so, and at the national level, it was 50 percent. it means that the rural sanitation has not reached to two third of the population rural population rural sanitation program till 1995 there was emphasis only on the construction of latrines but recently central rural sanitation program in kurs has been expanded and it includes seven different packages the components the packages are of the rural sanitation are number 1 safe handling of drinking water number 2 scientific disposal of waste water number 3 safe disposal of human excreta including child excreta it was realized that the there are more harms caused by child excreta on the contrary community members have a belief that child excreta is free from germs disposal of garbage and animal excreta home sanitation food hygiene and improved personal hygiene and seventh is the village sanitation so the rural priority has been shifted we have moved from sanitation to provision of rural sanitation program which includes safe water supply how so certain housing standards have been made and there are emphasis on four f's means fecal disposal through construction of latrines fly control through solid waste disposal food hygiene and finger hygiene by efficient hand washing A number of priorities have been fixed for rural sanitation now. 
the priority for renal citation have been fixed uh, as number one preference will be given to the twin pit model of water sea latin particularly in rural areas and school sanitation providing toilets in the schools should be given highest priority to inculcate safe hygienic habits among school children the idea is that if the safe hygiene hygienic practices are inculcated among the school children it will be carried out through entire life and it has been also observed that 50 percent of the messages or activities are directly passed from children to their parents and therefore the, the whatever they learn in the school they that will there is every probability that they need this will be taken into the their houses as well village panchayat should adopt building bylaws where dry latins are not permissible and water seal type of latins are to be constructed the state council proposed for urban sanitation sector should also have the mandate for rural sanitation subsidy for low cost household toilets should only be given to rural below poverty line bpl families and it should not be par with the subsidy for urban households in order to mobilize funds for rural sanitation financial institutions banks including hodco and national bank of agriculture and rural development nabar should extend loan to the states at lower rates of interest for provision of sanitary latrines private sector should be encouraged in setting up a building centers and sanitary marts in rural areas to provide cost effective sanitation technology so second the, the technology should be brought as close to the user as possible and role of private sector including corporate social responsibility program should be taken the recommendations made for urban low cost sanitation should also apply to the rural areas as well to make change in behavior of the people and adoption of sanitary latins there is a need for intensive information education and communication to the women groups to panchayat raj institutions and village health and sanitation committees through multiple channels and it it is it should be taken care that the different channels provide the same message so that there will be no confusion at the outreach level at the peripheral level and this will this is likely to not only to increase their knowledge but it will bring out behavioral change in them and adoption of sanitary latins will be easier in new areas A number of social factors are related to excreta disposal. Indiscriminate open field defecation leads to soil pollution in villages and in slums, and it is responsible for seventy to eighty percent of illness related to water contamination and poor sanitation. Latins are identified as dirty places and nuisance for of odor and flies. Normally, it is not so scientifically. But if the Latins constructed, particularly community Latins, their uh, hygienic conditions are not maintained, there is a, then there will be high food fry density, and this deters people to use the, those Latins. Toilet constructed by government are used as storage bins in many areas. Toilets have been constructed by government in different programs in many villages, and if there is no behavioral change. or if there is no felt need for latins people will think that is the government's program and they use these a constructed area for latin as a storage bins this is unfortunate because a lot of money is going into this process and but the benefit is not accrued by the masses at all so we have to create a demand driven strategy rather than supply oriented strategy for as far as construction of latins is concerned you know demand should be created people should be emphasized that why latin should be constructed and what benefit can be accrued through this process hands are used for the act of blessing and improper washing of hands leads to contamination of food and water bodies as excreta of children is considered harmless they defecate in and around house and have and after cleaning mothers don't wash their hands with soap and water 
and particularly if this is being practiced then it will lead to contamination of soil food and water open field defecation is not considered as a health health hazard by many villagers many contribute to the act of defecation with morning uh, walk and smoking the problem is of serious concern to smoking land and less space for open open defecation in urban areas particularly uh, now people are going for latrines now after discussing social barriers now i would like to discuss about sanitation barrier sanitation barrier means in is a barrier through which the disease causing pathogens are unable to reach the susceptible host directly or indirectly improper disposed excreta may contaminate any one of the following five f spoken commonly known as fluids food flies fingers fomites like water food or soil through fingers or flies leading to disease transmitter transmission in a new host sanitation sanitation barrier basically can be of two types primary sanitation barrier in this proper disposal of excreta forms a barrier which would not allow the organism to enter into the environment by constructing a borehole latrine or any type of sanitary latrine it means the organism is not going to the environment and sanitary latrines which prevents the disease agent to enter the environment either directly or indirectly whereas secondary sanitation barrier means once the organism reaches the food for mites water flies or fingers it means the organism is reaching to the vector vehicles of the transmission of the disease then making these foods non infectious by food sanitation water purification controlling flies washing hands uh, will also reduce the disease burden but certainly it is ideal to have primary sanitation barrier or construction of latrines so that the uh, vehicles are not con uh, uh, contaminated and the disease transmission will be controlled best by the primary by instituting primary sanitation barrier now coming to the next agenda that is essential features of sanitary latrine sanitary latrines serve the purpose of sanitation barrier sanitary latrines are cleaned automatically in a systematic manner through flush sanitary latrines are also known by other names like clean latrines non service type latrines sanitary sandas clean healthy latrines it prevents direct contact of the feces with the five agents of disease transmission these are its water fingers flies soil and food types of sanitary latrines number 1 a borehole latrines dug well latrines water seal latrines which are again of two types pri type and rca type septic tank aqua privacy privy and shallow and deep trench latrines now borehole latrine in this latin a pit that's uh, that is about 6 meters deep and 40 cm in diameter is dug this type of latrine serve a family of 5 to 6 people for a year presently these latrines are not in use since the whole of these latrines is, is using a bore machine boring machine these are named as borehole latrine <coughs> now just now we discussed about borehole latrines a modification of that is dugwell latrines in dugwell latrines a pit of this type is constructed for, for which neither a boring machine is required nor agar is needed on the whole it is 3.3 meters deep and 75 cm in diameter a concrete plate is placed on it to sit on the hole a small family can use it for many years after that the pit is closed water seal latrines as i said earlier that in the rural sanitation program water seal latrines are getting importance it is a improved version of sanitary latrine for small towns and rural areas here excreta is hand flushed by the user 
Therefore, it is also known as hand thrust latins as well. These latins are of two types. One is PRA type and RCA type. Septic tank, in the absence of public sewage system, sewage is disposed of through septic tanks. This brick and cement tank has two chambers. It has an inlet through which excreta enters the tank and effluent is collected in the constructed pit through outlet. Periodic removal of sludge from the tank is essential. Then aqua privy, it has a chamber-like structure below the Latin pan which retains water. Effluents are allowed to pass into the an underground covered pit. This type of latrine is very useful for small families and railway stations particularly. We have shallow and deep trench latrines also. These type of latrines are used temporarily as, as camps and fairs, particularly in Kumela or other type of where large agglomeration of people takes place. Shallow and deep trench latrines have been used. A shallow trench that is 30 cm broad and 90 to 150 cm deep is dug. Dug up trench is 2 to 2.5 meters deep and 75 to 90 cm broad. Length of both these trenches kept in proportion to the number of people to, who are going to use this. There are other types of latrines and their saline features are like this. One is service latrine. Service latrine was in use long back. When men used to clean excreta from these types of latrines, which is against the dignity of men and also responsible for water and soil pollution and various infections. In fact, the World Health Organization has condemned such type of latrines which were existing earlier. So service latrines has to be stopped and only non-service type of latrines should be in use. Traveler's latrine. These are used in trains and other means of transport like ships. It produces a foul smell and deep, also cre creates an unpleasant view. Hence, this method of excavator disposal is not appropriate for public point of view. In aeroplanes, we are using chemical closet. Direct pit latrines, the excavator falls directly into the pit through a drop hole. When the pit gets filled up up to one meter, one meter sort of, it is the sweating plate is removed and it is covered with earth and allowed to undergo anaerobic putrefaction. Indirect pit latins, a concrete squatting plate complete with pan, a trap and a correcting pipe assembly leads to a circular pit. The excreta received the pan are hand flushed by the user after the pit filled up to desired level, that is one meter below, covered with earth dome and allowed to undergo anaerobic notification. Ventilated improved pit latrines, popularly known as VIP latrines, a concrete squatting plate fixed on the top of the pit. The excreta falls directly into the pit through a drop hole. There is no provision for a water seal. When the pit content rises up to one meter below ground level, its squatting plate is removed and it is topped with earth cover to allow anaerobic notification of excreta. So this is a, a diagram. Fresh air is drawn into the pit. A flow of air draws out orders from the pit and there is a cover, cover slab and this is an improved variety. There are other types of toilets like Ecosun toilet. Ecosun toilets have the advantage. Urine is diverted. Urine diverting, dehydrating toilets are commonly termed as Ecosun toilets. The ecological sanitation, Ecosun toilet is waterless and has dehydration evaporation system. Feces, urine, and wash water, where people follow ablation after defecation, need to be 
separated using a special design toilet three hole seat. It helps in saving water, preventing contamination of gro ground water, and recycling nutrients excreted by human dwellings, beings to agriculture. The dry waste is manageable and can be processed in the following ways. Using market making of compost, disposal by using municipal waste services, used as a source of fuel, and urine diverted to the storage tank can be applied to crops as nitrogen-rich fertilizer containing both phosphorus and, and potassium. So this is the, in this feces, urine and water parts are diverted. So there is a seat cover. We have uh, steps, pedestal, one can go up and there is a urine diversion. And so this may, may not only makes the environment clean, but there is a most efficient use of the different components of urine is used as fertilizer and then the other type of toilets which are getting important these days is e-toilets. It is India's first electronic public toilet. It incorporates full cycle approach in sustainable sanitation. The insertion of a coin opens the door of the e-toilet for the user, switches on a light, the sending energy, and even directs the person with the audio commands. This toilet is getting importance. The toilets are programmed to flush 1.5 liters of water after three minutes of usage. It is also programmed to clean the platform with complete wash down after every five or 10 persons use the toilet. Kerala is the first state in India to offer the connected e-toilet facility. And since Kerala has taken the lead, it's possible that other states will also follow. Sulap Sauchala movement in India has been quite successful attempt. It is a water flush toilet connected to twin pits. It is a hand flush water seal latrine and is essentially an improved version of the RCA latrine, having pit size of about one cubic meter. It can be adopted to different hydrogeological and physical conditions. Thousands of slopes toilets complexes in slums and towns all over India are being used by 10 million people at present. The biggest advantage is that it is self-sustainable. There are a number of reasons of success of Sulap Sochala movement in India. Number one, it is a non-governmental initiative. It does not mean that governmental initiative fails, but uh, being a non-governmental initiative, it has better penetration wherever it is required. The system is self-supporting. It means user fees are being taken, and from that, uh, the it, its maintenance and uh, and cleanliness is taken care because. We have also constructed community Latins, but the adoption of community Latins has been not to that extent as Sulaps or Chalas are being used. The reason being very simple because they, their maintenance is very good. The cleanliness maintained by Sulaps or Chalas are there and that is the reason why it draws people towards it. The biogas plants have been established to generate combustible gas and electricity from the excreta in places where the number of Latins is large. If the number of Latins are large, then biogas plants have been also being constructed with them. The organization not only builds the toilets, but also provides maintenance services for a smooth functioning. So what they, we can say that a number of reasons are there why Sulap Sachala's movement has been a successful initiative in India. Uh, though we have not been successful to that extent, in generating demand or maintenance is particularly from the government sector. Lastly, coming to the last point, public health importance of excreta disposal. 
as we have discussed earlier that basic sanitation is one of the important duties of anybody who is just in the health of the people about 70 to 80% of diseases related to water contamination are directly or indirectly being gone by excreta disposal and therefore excreta excreta disposal should receive the utmost priority in public health programs human excreta is an important cause of human excreta is an important cause of environmental pollution and source of infection as well for healthy environment removal and safe disposal of excreta important responsibility of any society the health hazards of improper disposal excreta disposals are many it leads to soil pollution it leads to soil pollution particularly will be responsible for disease like hookworm infection infestation water pollution that will be lead to diarrhea cholera and so many other hepatitis and so many other diseases and contamination of food that may be responsible for again food borne diseases and propagation of flies that is responsible for many diseases so just to summarize at the end we all know that sanitation is a process of collection transport treatment and disposal of refuse of human excreta domestic waste water and solid waste and associated hygiene promotion putting a sanitation barrier that will stop contamin uh, access that is a of etc with the food water bodies soil will is likely to check many diseases primary and secondary sanitation barriers enforcement holds great promise in provision of basic sanitation every attempt should be made to place primary sanitation barriers in place by construction of latrines and if that fails then secondary sanitation barriers are required it means that the organism has already reached to the food reached to the water bodies and and then water treatment and other control measures are has to be instituted there are different types of latrines their selection is context specific say for example in kumbela or when there is a short accumulation of people at a particular place then we go for trench latrines in a remote areas or difficult areas Well, we can think of constructing of earlier we are constructing bore latrines or dug latrines, but certainly, as far as, as the government of India has committed for provision of individual sanitation program, that is the uh, sanitary latrines with flush facilities, flush type of latrines, that has to be encouraged. Finally, thank you very much for visiting EPG Park Sala.